Hello Excel champions, it's William aka Dr. Excel. Today I'm going to show you how to calculate percentiles and quartiles with Excel formulas. So I'm going to show you how it works and how to compute it. Um, and I'm going to give you the file with all the formulas so you can uh, follow with me and reuse it later. So the link for the file is going to be in the video uh, description right below the video so you can download it. So first, what's, what's a percentile, what's a quartile? Percentile, for example, 20th percentile means that 20% of uh, so for, of a set of data is below that value. So here I have uh, some data, some numbers from 1 to 100, um, and they are sort, and there are 100 numbers. So uh, in that case, it means the 20th percentile means that 20% of these numbers are below the 20th percentile. So for example, if my 20th percentile is 29, it means that 20% of all of these numbers are uh, less than 29. So here I have a 100 number, so it should be the 20th number. Okay, so uh, so here, what I'm to compute it, I'm gonna use the function. So in that case, I use the function percentile inc um, so it means to calculate the percentile. Uh, why we use ink? Because it's a better, you know, you have uh, two functions for percentile, but this one is better because it always returns a value. Uh, so I'm going to select the array of all my values, all my data. I'm going to use it as a, an absolute reference. And now I select the a number of the percentile so here what for percentile you have to enter it as percent so for the 20th it's 20 percent or 0 0.20 i'm going to put it this way 0 0.2 and not 20. so 0 0.2 and it's going to tell me 18.8 .8. so here it gives me 18.8 .8 and i see that uh, if i take 20 values uh, 20 here it's 18.8 .8 is the value which is right above the 20th value but uh, but under the next one you know so we have 20 values 18.8 .8 and then 19 so wh why is it not an integer is because excel considers that it's um, like uh, it's just points of a curve you know but that that there might uh, have been some numbers in between it doesn't uh, oh it doesn't return an integer you know, so that's a, that's a bit Excel's way to compute it. It's not always going to be one of the values which are in the in the chart. Um, so for twentieth to uh, twentieth so percentile means we have twenty percent of the values below this one. Eightieth percentile it's going to be the same. We're going to take equal percentile uh, ink of the array. Actually, I'm going to copy paste because I don't want to uh, re-enter the array. So percentile inclusive of the array with all the data and we want 80% of the data below this point so it's going to give us 79.2 which means that if we take 80 values uh, 80 80 up here I have 80 values so um, uh, the percentile the 80th percentile should be in between 79 and 80 and it's actually 79.2, which is correct. Um, another one which is interesting is the 50th percentile. It's be, uh, basically the, the, the mean, uh, which means we have 50% of the values b b um, above this number and 50% of the values uh, below this number. And so if I compute it, uh, 0 0.5, it's going to give me something around 55. And if I take 50 values, Oops. Yeah, I 50. It means I have 50 values uh, below, 50 above. Uh, it's 55.5. Um, so that's for the that's for the percentiles. Quartile. It's a bit the same thing. So uh, it means it's the different values that separate the data sets between quarters. So first quartile means that I have one quarter of the value. Um, of the values below this uh, below this figure, so I'm going to use a um, quartile inclusive of the array. Okay, 
um, and I'm going to use the alors, the first quartile. So here you can see actually in the suggestion you can and you can also uh, compute the zeroth uh, quartile, which is actually it means all the values are uh, greater than this value. It means it's the minimum. So first quartile, and you see as well they they explain it here. The uh, first quartile it's 25th percentile. Why? Because if we have one quarter of the values below uh, the first quartile, it's exactly the same thing as to say you have 25% of the, um, the values below this one. Um, and the difference here is that we uh, indicate the number of the quartile. So here it's one, um, whereas before we had uh, to indicate the percent. So I'm going to compute it this way. It means that we have 25%, uh, 23.75% as the first quartile. Uh, we can as well compute it as the 25th uh, percentile. And we're going to see that it's the same thing. If I take the percentile and I take 25%, I have the same value. Uh, second quartile is actually going to be the mean uh, because it means two quarters of uh, the values are below this uh, this value and it gives me the same thing and third quartile same thing it means three quarter or 75 percent of the um, of the values are below below this uh, third quartile so if i put three it means 75.5 percent and if i take uh, 75 values which means 75 percent of my data data set 75 values uh, it's between 75 and 77. So the value of the quartile in, is between these two. Uh, and it's 75.5%. Uh, so here, here is how you compute uh, percentiles and quartiles in, uh, in Excel. Uh, hope it's going to be clear to you. You can download the file right below the video. going to put the link for you. And I'll see you tomorrow for a new Excel tip. See you tomorrow, champions. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, this way you'll get notified as soon as I post the new tip. Ciao!